All right, a uh, little further analysis um, of what this stat -a program will do. Um, after, if you want to go uh, scroll down, uh, uh, after verifying that your league, this is like your reconciliation for your league here. You, know, you want to make sure everything, you know, your wins and losses, your runs, nine and nine, uh, hit 17, 17, one walk and 19 strikeouts in that game, blah, blah, blah. Just to make sure before you know you if you save something and you don't have reconciliation you've made a mistake when you manually input a data uh, down here we have the this is just a raw this isn't the a, the printable version of your standings this is just the raw area of your standings um, the by division starting with the American League East and it's um, it, you can sort the, you can sort each division by any variable, um, but you, you, the extension of – actually, let me get rid of this bar for a second. Get rid of that. There you go. Um, you want to sort – if you do a sort because standings have changed, for instance, Boston's no longer in third or third one. They'd probably be in fourth, whatever. Um, you know, you can do a sort, data sort under – you know, if you use Excel, uh, win-loss percentage – this um this is your win loss percentage here team name wins loss percentage games behind it accumulates that it puts winning streak here over here accumulates batting average homers rbi stolen bases era whips your whip walks in his innings pitch saves um the this is that player utilization factor that i spoke of in the last video uh, what this what this is kind of neat this what this kind of does is it shows what is your target I mean what is the minimum uh, utilization you're looking for right now it's set to 30 this is for a small little season meaning say you want every one of your pitchers to pitch three innings and say you want every one of your batters to have 10 at bats okay that means that you're looking for a minimum of three times 10 or 30 so you set your target there and then it accumulates once your team has uh, exceeded the target it shows that you're properly utilizing the team and that's what it's designed to do it just gives you more you know information as to are you utilizing your your league appropriately based on your target what plan are you trying to do are you trying to utilize your cards in a certain manner so that's a kind of neat little reminder for how you play the game you know you're under utilizing players on your roster so you have um, uh, a, this is set up, of course, for my league, which is going to be 32 teams uh, over uh, four teams and eight divisions. And of course, there's fictional teams in here that I constructed. Um, keep going further. Um, this is a copy paste area I use for when I want to put a stat report together, um, and it does it carries data. Um, from uh, your previous report uh, over, and I'll just scroll down. This is data for every hitter in the league and every pitcher for the American National League. Just keep scrolling down, scrolling down. Then I have team stats here: average homer, RBI, stolen bases, etc. And then uh, batting statistics. Uh, this is the previous information because these are values. Okay, these this is the previous values for a league I used. Um, what I do here in this yellow box, um, this is to uh, the you know the minimum amount for league leaders. Okay, by at bats uh, in this particular league we're looking at here, we're saying 125 bats uh, you qualify for the batting title, and 125 in this example. Um, and if you had less than 125 at bats, um, your stats get don't um, your you can't qualify for the league prize or whatever. So in this factor here, this is batting average. If you have 125 at bats or or more, this is the actual batting average in this column that your, your player had. But if you don't have 125 at bats, it's zero. So this is the sort column. If you want to sort your players by league leaders and then fringe players, you sort by column A, which is batting average, 
and then um, after that uh, you would sort by at bats and an average um, and and um, you, your you could your range in this case uh, in the red it was the American League stats and the blue is National League stats again um, the columns are a D and E and the same thing you keep scrolling down this is not designed to look good. This is just for you know moving data uh, using uh, sorts. Okay. Same thing for pitching. Uh, sixty. So you need sixty innings pitched. So if a player had sixty innings pitched, his ERA uh, gets carried over from the right column over here. So that way you can sort just the league leaders. Notice. Okay. So for sixty innings, if you scroll down a bit. Uh, once you get below 60 innings, it says 9999, which is not applicable. And then it just sorts those players by you know innings pitch. Uh, keep scrolling down for the American and National League. And then you can – this is uh, just creating a box to sort the entire team stats by batting average and earn, earn run average. I'm going to page up for a minute. And simply what is done in that case is – that's this data here. You just simply highlight this box – you know, the entire box, you copy it, uh, you paste it down, you know, you paste it in this area, and then you do a sort under average, you paste it again, and you sort of earn, earn run average. It just gives you space to do these things, generate a report. And this is a cleaner looking report in this file, but it's not, not for printing purposes. This is just still cleaning it up for accumulation. If you want to look for the print, you go over here to a different spreadsheet, which is called print. You see we're in stats, go to print. Now, this is a printable spreadsheet, and I'll go here to print preview. And here you see what this does is, uh, this is set for legal paper, and this will print up on uh, uh, four sheets, your batting leaders, next page, and it'll show you the accumulated American League and National League stats, next page, pitching leaders, next page, and this is the final page. And on the final page, you get your sorted American League stats by batting average. Or no, this is actually both leagues combined. Uh, sorted by batting average, sorted by earn run average. And here are your standings for the American League and the National League. The red for the American League and blue the National League. It's pretty cool uh, that uh, you don't edit here. This is just for printing purposes. This this print, uh, you, you know, you manipulate your stats for the purpose of printing. I'm going to pause it right now and... Look forward to some more analysis.